So anytime you see a techno, remember it is an honor to the mission follows of the first king of the universe who was both God and human. Now, if the Grushis or Frapper people of Ghana and Burkina Faso were not once located in Kemet, how could they come to have a religion that is so close to, their narr to the, this narrative of Asa, Asasi, and Heru, commonly known as the first family? You tell me. So, E.A. Wallace Beck, wants to write these people, the Gurushis or the Frafras, out of history. Not even the Gurushis or the Frafras. Every black person in the universe, E.A. Wallace Beck, wants to write them out of history by stating clearly that the civilization on the Nile Valley or the Nile Valley civilization, the high culture, was brought there by people from Asia. The question I always ask is this. If that is the case, why are the Persians not extinct? Why are the Romans not extinct? Why are the Greeks not extinct? How come that only the Africans have to die off? But if you know your history, as Elizabeth Middleton is trying to remind us, you will not allow E.A. Wallace Beck to write you out of history. If, he, if you allow him to write you out of history, you lose your power. E.A. Wallace Beck, in his, haste, in his haste to deny Africans the civilization and high culture they created, he stated that evidence indicates, evidence indicates that the hieroglyphic history was not invented in Egypt. Who invented it? The person who wrote the papyrus of that E.A. Wallace Beck deciphered, transliterated, and translated was called Ani. In my first Tribute to Lester Middleton. I said, Ani is a Kasena name for a man. A Kasena name for a woman is called Anu. Should we allow E.A.S. Wallace Beck to change this when we have the evidence? He's talking about evidence indicates. We have more evidence to shatter this con conclusion. In fact, he showed no evidence. E.A. Wallace Beck showed no evidence. This documentary, this presentation, just in honor of Listerville Middleton, have more evidence to prove that Africans created Nile Valley civilization and high culture than what E.A. Wallace Beck is talking about. In this presentation, I've shown mountains upon mountains of evidence to prove him wrong and to place the African at the center of the civilization or high culture other people want to claim for themselves. I hope this presentation held your attention and helped you in this intricate subject. Look at this Tekin. This is in Luxor. Luxor. Look at the ruins and look at the Tekin. It's still there. That is Ramesses sitting on the throne. You cannot deny him. Ramesses was an African. He didn't come from Asia. I indicated the first time that Ramses' sister was called Tia, T-I-A. And my sister is called Atia, A-T-I-A-H. 
What is the difference? Why should I allow E.A. Wallace Beck to write, write me out of history, to write my family out of history, to write the African family out of history? This is a Tekin from Luxor that was taken and sent to France. Europeans who can come to Africa and tell us that we should not adore adults, idols. But they come to Africa to take our Tekins back to, 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 to Europe to worship. Why they couldn't create it themselves, I have no idea. But they should not be taking our stuff. But they do it anyway. Because why? We lost our history and we lost our power. Sharpen your eyes, tune your ear, so you know what you see, understand what you hear. The Madonna and child. Now, I just give the narrative about this powerful miracle that was conjured by Asa and Asasi and had a baby without a phallus. Had a baby without a, a phallus. This picture shows you Asasi and Heru as a child. As a child. So there's no way somebody can come and convince you that ancient African civilization and her culture were not started by Africans. And Listerbelt Middleton is adamant. He's adamant. He, want to, he wanted to place Africans at the center of world history. And from his book, Southern Winds, African Breezes, he made that possible with this poem, The Origin of Things, in which one stanza spells it all, minute by minute, hour by hour, as you lose your history, you lose your power. So tune your ear. Now sharpen your eyes, tune your ear, so you know what you see, understand what you hear. Now, this presentation goes deeper than that. Because if you don't know your creation story, somebody will sell you one. Somebody will sell you one. And if they sell you one, they sell you the, the, the creation story, that will write you out of history. They're going to sell you a creation story that will write you out of history. But if you know about this creation story, that there was a God called Atum, who caused a volcanic eruption. And before I even explain further, do you know that volcanic eruptions are creating lands today? Go to Hawaii. The volcanic eruptions, the lava goes all the way to the sea and creates more lands. So that is proof that when a tomb Cause the eruption for a mound to come out of the water for him to sit is true. It is also true because even scientists have given credit to Atum for naming the first bomb, atomic bomb. That is credit they gave to the god Atum. 
They are not hiding it. But you have to know your history to be able to tell that this name coming out, atomic bomb, has something to do with your creation story. Atom caused an eruption. The world was nothing but full of water, endless water. And this self, creator God, caused an eruption and sat on the mound. Then he became lonely and sneezed and had two kids, Shu and Tevnot. Don't let anybody sell you a creation story that is not related to you. If you listen and you hear the names, you can also tell that these are African names. Shu, Tefnut, Geb, Nut, Asa, Asasi, Nephet, Hiru, all are African names. And this is your creation story. E.A. Wallace Beck doesn't want you to know this creation story because his main goal is to write you out of history. Come to Africa, study in Africa, do research in Africa, and turn around and say that all the research that I did didn't come from Africa. Why was hieroglyphics or made of nature not invented in Europe? Why didn't he find it in, in Asia where he claims that it came from. Where in Asia do we have hier hieroglyphics? He cannot prove it. But he said, I've, I, as long as I found this thing, these black people couldn't have produced this. So I just have to write them out of it. Elizabeth Middleton is telling us not to allow anybody to write us out of history. If you lose your history, you lose your, your, your power. He's emphasizing, if you lose your history, you lose your power. Maybe that's why we were enslaved. Maybe that's why we were colonized. Because we had lost our history. Well, if that is the case, Let's us recover our history. Let us retrieve our history. That's where traditionalism comes in. This is an authentic religion. This is an original religion. You don't have to go anywhere else to borrow it. African traditionalism is an authentic African religion. You don't have to copy it from anywhere. The Gurushis or the Frafras, we have our own writing called Bakoloko. It is from a deity, the prophetic deity called Bakoloko. It gives you the writing. It also instructs you how to say a prayer, a particular prayer. So why are we being told that we did not write? We didn't know how to read. When we had a God called Jehuti who taught us how to write. The name of this show is Divine Speech. Divine Speech means writing. Divine Speech means writing. The Word of God means writing. The middle nature is writing. It is the Greeks who came and saw power in African writing and call it holy carvings, hieroglyphics. Now, E.A. Wallace Berg would not like you to know that the writing made of nature is an African writing. He will give credit to an unknown people. Just go to Asia and said it came somewhere there, somewhere where 